Welcome to this uh, series of shortwave past and present. And as we look at Rai, Italy. Rai was the national broadcaster of Italy on shortwave, and they had a special place in my heart. One of the reasons why is that, uh, first of all, where I lived when I was a teenager, there was a big Italian community. And actually, my neighbors were all Italian, except for uh, a couple of, you know, uh, French Canadian neighbors and, of course, one Greek neighbor. But uh, there was a lot of Italian neighbors, and it was very unique because they had always uh, found it really cool that they had these uh, really backyards full of plants and 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 you know these uh, gardens that were full of tomatoes and were very generous also so that was one part also my best friend that i still am um very uh still one of my best friends today that i actually went to school with he was born here but his parents came from italy and immigrated to canada uh, early in the uh, 40s and 50s. So Italy was part of, you know, my culture because of all that was around me and, you know, my best friend and so on. So when shortwave arrived in my life, of course, right Italy was one of the stations I'd listened to. They would have 20-minute broadcasts, I remember, in French and English, and I would actually follow both of them. So here's a uh, little brief um, clip of their interval signal from back in the 80s. Radio Televisione Italiana Qui Rai International che trasmette quotidianamente per l'Australia su kilohertz 11.920 pari a metri 25 e 16. This is Rai, the Italian radio and television network. This program is being broadcast in the English language to our listeners in Japan and the Far East. So, Rai, Italy, uh, and what you see here is the only QSL I have from Rai, even though I've listened so many times. This is one of the stations that I wrote 
to at least a dozen times before I actually had a QSL. I have no idea why I, you know, just was always puzzled and never receiving anything. So, of course, was happy when this QSL arrived. And so this is pretty nice. Uh, Rai Italy was broadcasting from Rome. And what happened is that um, they were one of the first countries to bring in international shortwave broadcast. Uh, Guglielmo Marconi, the man who invented radio, oversaw the construction of the first shortwave transmitter uh, just outside of Rome on July 1st, 1930. Four years later, two more transmitters were completed and broadcast began in English and Italian to North America. In 1935, broadcasting of programs in Italian, Portuguese, and Spanish began to South America. In 1939, after the completion of six new transmitters, programs in English were beamed to the Far East, Europe, and countries around the Mediterranean. It is from the shortwave radio center at Rome, Prato, Smeraldo, that all Rai International broadcasts were actually uh, coming from. During the Second World War, political and strategic motives were added to the original aim of linking Italy and the vast community of Italian migrants around the world. And uh, in uh, 1962, law allocated management of international shortwave broadcasts for which a special committee of the cabinet office is responsible to state broadcaster Rye. As the years went by, the programs lost their character of official, sometimes even propaganda, broadcast to become a news source that fully reflects the democratic nature of Italian Republic. In 1975, the setting up of a special management section for foreign broadcasting and journalism laid the foundations for significant development of the sector. Subsequently, the existing services for foreign broadcasting were expanded to include RAI International's new intercontinental television channels. Well, RAI Italy, in the end, and I do remember, had some transmitter issues, and there was this little whining tone. Um, some of you might have heard it recently. WWCR was a victim of that for a while in the last year, year and a half. And the last few years, of course, the declining of the shortwave transmitters and the fact that they had to actually think about, you know, should we invest in actually adding more money for new transmitters, um, kind of gave a negative outlook for Rai Italy. Rai Italy ceased all of its broadcast on shortwave on October the 1st, 2007, and discontinued all the foreign language services. On December 31st, 2011, Rai International Radio closed its operations. There was still some English news items were transmitted as part of Notturno Italiano, a program that was on Minimoive until December 31st, 2011. Notturno Italiano was also part of shortwave in Europe on a frequency of 60-60 kilohertz back in the days. So, little history here. And uh, one of the stations that, for me, has a special place in my heart, um, like I said, mainly because of the community around me. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.